This is maths, right? Yep, cool. All right, so let's create a question and we'll do one together. Do you want to do a, a challenging one or an easy one? The, the very last, actually, we'll work it up, we'll work up to it. So can you do like, um, like the normal one and then we'll do the very hard one? Um, yeah. And so what we'll do, yeah, right, fine. We'll do an easy one. We'll do a medium one. We'll do an easy one, a medium one, and a hard one. Let's go. So easy one first, okay? Yep. 10 newtons up. Uh, eight newtons to the right. Okay, what is the resultant force? Uh, like it's like uh, you have to do Pythagoras, right? The first before, yeah, correct. But let's back up a second. Can you tell me which direction is the force going to be in roughly? Like 45 degrees to the left. Uh, yeah, right. To the left, like this? Oh, no, to the right, to the right, to the right, sorry. To the right, good. So yeah. the reason we do that is so that we have a good idea. If I had to guess as well, we've got this is 10 and this is 8. So what do you think roughly, the, what, what do you think roughly it's going to be? Uh, like, oh, uh, what, 164 is... Uh... No, I don't... You don't have to do it exactly. But what yeah. number is it going to be near? I like... Are they like 7, 8? Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to be like a big number, like uh, more than 12 at least. It has, all right, more than 12. Let's go. 13. Uh, yeah, 13. Uh, like around 12. Around 12 13-ish. 13. Let's go with that. Perfect. Now, you're correct. We need to do Pythagoras. So, what we do is we say, do, do, do. We call that 10. We call that, we call that 8. We call that 10. We say that we're going to look for C squared because A squared plus B squared equals 10 squared plus 8 squared equals the square root of... 164. Yep. Which is... Get this. Well, the square root of 163 is... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. 12.8. Yep. Cool. Um, yep. 12.8. So there we go. Was that 13 ish? Yes, it was. And I think this is, I, now what angle is that? Uh, 45 degrees. Nope. Or oh, 90. Nope. Wait, what? We've got a opposite adjacent. Let's calculate it. Inverse. Oh, yes. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Ten. Opposite over adjacent. This is why I showed you this stuff in engineering. Yeah. Ten I didn't remember doing this in engineering. Eight. You don't remember doing this in engineering. No, I only remember doing that Pythagoras. I didn't remember doing these angles, like the figuring out the angle. Are you sure? Okay, so inverse tan of 10 over 8 is going to be, we're going to get our calculator out. We're just going to put that in. Yeah. Oh. 51.3. 51.3. Perfect. And so therefore, we can now say that this is 12.8 uh, at 51.3 degrees. Does that make sense? Uh, okay, so you find the angle and then you find the um, the root thing. Yeah. And then you just, and that's the answer? That's the answer. So be honest with me. If it doesn't make sense, you need to let me know. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I, I understand it now. Yeah. Because otherwise, I'm going to be like, yeah. Because I thought, like, kind of, like, and the angle's tripped me up, but yeah, I get it now. So you just have to calculate the angle first. Yeah. So now the harder one is to calculate um let's see the harder one is now to calculate what i mean yeah uh, i was just doing something over here okay the harder one now is to calculate something challenging let's go with um uh yeah well you know what i'm going to do the challenging one and just to make sure you get it, I'm going to go to extreme version at the end. 
So challenging, let's go with something like this. Oh my God. We'll call this one uh, 20 Newtons. And then we'll call this one, uh, what do you want? Thinking, let's go with um, 10. 10, no, fine. 10 Newtons, and we'll say this is at 20 degrees. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Now, we can't add these vectors the, the same. We can't add these um, these forces the same way that we did with this one on the left. Because in this one on the left, they were perpendicular. Job done, easy, solved. In this one on the right, they're not perpendicular. So we can't just go 10 squared plus 20 squared, right? Yep. What we need to know is we need to know what the force is up and down and left and right. So this 10 Newtons is actually a pain in the butt. We will break this 10 Newtons down into a force downwards and a force to the left. Fuck. So let's bring this, let's bring this shape down here. Oops. Um, So that gives us this. All right, so we've got this green line here. Okay, let's calculate this green line here first. That green line, is that opposite or adjacent? It is opposite. Good, that green line is opposite. So that means we've got an opposite, we've got a hypotenuse, we've got an adjacent. We can calculate that green line because we can use sine. Okay, I'm going to do because we're looking for the green line. I'm going to do it in green. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Theta equals uh, oopsies. We don't want theta. Whoopsies. We want. So therefore, if we take, where is it? So H times sine theta, that will equal opposite. What's H? H is half on you, oh, 10, 10. Good. What's theta? Um, 20. So 10 times sine theta, I'm literally putting this into my sine 20, equals 3.4. Uh, 3.42. Okay. Yep. Now let's do this blue one. So this blue one here is going to be, is that uh, opposite adjacent or hypotenuse? This blue line here. Adjacent. Adjacent. So we're going to use cosine. Cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. You could Same. also use tan to get that, right? Uh, you could you could use tan because we've got the opposite side now, but you should avoid it because if we made a mistake, you don't want to make another mistake. Does that yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. If we wrote down um, 4.3 instead, which you've got these numbers jumbled up, then we would stuff ourselves up. Times cosine 20 equals A. I expect this to be quite large. And the reason I expect this to be large is because this line is bigger than this line. Yeah. Because 20 is quite tall. And it is. It's 9.4. Now, just for a sec, I want to draw this now. Now that we've done this, I want to redraw this. I want to show you what we've done. What we've done is this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Wait, 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 let me look at it again. What the fuck? 
20. Oh, yeah, 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 I get it now. I get it now. Yeah, yeah. See what I'm doing here? Yeah. This is what I did in the last example, but what I didn't actually specifically draw this. Oh, yeah, I can see because you moved the green line up, yeah? Exactly. But instead of having this black line, I have these two lines instead. Because they're equal to the green line. Oh, yo. Well, let oh. me draw a different color. Let me do. So this red line here, exactly. This red line here becomes this blue and this green line. So you literally just opened my mind. Yeah, that's oh what I God. thought. That, I thought <laughs> by showing you this picture, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I get it now. Oh, because I thought I was going to say like, uh, don't you need the black line still? But the blue and green line are actually the black line. Oh. Okay. But now, now what we need to do, now we need to take it one step further. We need to turn this into this. One sec. Yeah. Now I'm going to use a number, and you're not going to know where this number comes from just yet. But I'm going to tell you. Like number eight, right? I'm going to tell you in a second. Hold on. There you go. I put in four. Oh, no. 16.58. Is it because you subtracted the two? Yeah. Exactly. I went 20 minus 3.42 equals 16.58. God damn. So I went from this to this. So we went from this to this, and then from this to this. Yeah. So now all we need to do is go from that to this. Holy. And we can do that by saying, well, now these are perpendicular to each other. So now... Wait, so is that angle still 90 degrees or do we still have to figure out the angle? We'll need to figure out the angle, but that's fine. Yeah. We'll work on that when we get to it. The square root of A squared plus B squared equals, equals the square root of 9.4 squared plus 16.58 squared equals calculator square root. Answer squared plus uh, nine point four squared nineteen. Pretty much uh, nineteen point. I thought it was exactly nineteen. No, it's not nineteen. We we'll go nineteen point one because it rounds up. So nineteen point one. What's the angle? Well, the angle. This is gets a little bit iffy. So you kind of have to be careful here, but you've got this angle here. And that angle here is going to be we've got opposite, which is 9.4. We've got adjacent, which is 16.58. So therefore, inverse 10, inverse 10, inverse 10 of opposite, which is 9.4 over 16.58 inverse 10 of 9.4 divided by 16.58 is 29.55 so we'll call that yeah we'll call that 30 degrees so if that's 30, we measure from the horizontal, we need to go all the way around. So that gives us, that allows us to go from here to, to this. 19.1 at 330 degrees. What the fuck? Oh, wait, sir. You know for the circle you draw the angle from? Yeah. Where, where are you supposed to start? Do you just start on the, like the flat line? Yeah. So you always start, I'm always starting from like straight to the right. Yeah. 
Okay. And you get anti clockwise, right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, sir. So let's break this down. Well, I want to do one more, but I want to do a real challenging one that actually goes beyond what we did in class because I want to show you show you there's one part that I want to show you that's going to be a massive breakdown. So let's break this down for a sec. First, we had to break down this vector. Then we had to make sure we added the net forces together at right angles to each other. And then we had to bring it together. We're using this and find the angle. I'm going to show you one more. Okay. We're going to do one more together. And what time is it? It's 3.10. So we're going to show you one more. And then that'll be it. And then you can just, yeah, pretty much the class ended anyway. So clear all uh, drawings. Uh, can I go to a new fancy way I can? Oh, no. Okay. Cool. Uh, here we go. I'm going to do one more. It's going to yep. look like this. It's going to be a double one. And it's going to be painful, but we're going to do a double one. We're going to do this here. A double one. And I'm going to do it, yeah, here, yeah, here. I'm going to do this. And then we're going to go like, um, you go like that. Yep. And we're going to call. <laughs> we're going to call that one forty degrees. Yep. We're going to call this one thirty degrees. We're going to call this one uh, fifty newtons, and we're going to call this one thirty newton. Uh, twenty five. Twenty five newtons. Yep. And we're going to resolve this, and so these this is going to be a bit challenging because we've got two of them. Okay. And this is actually, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, this is actually math, advanced math. Did you do advanced maths in year, um, year 10 or did you do intermediate? I always forget. I did advanced. So this is, well, this is the stuff that was in advanced, but it's also in methods. It also shows up in methods. So just be aware of that. But okay. How are we going to do this is we're going to break down each of these parts into their components. And then we're going to bring them together. So first part, we're going to take, we're going to look at just a part. We're going to look at just this part here. Yep. Yep. We're going to break this into, we're going to go with um, blue and green again. So we're going to go blue. I'm going to go green. So how do I calculate? How do I figure out what the green component is? What do I need uh, to do? You do wait. There's a, a, a use tan, right? You don't use tan? I mean, no, you use, use uh, wait, O, H. You use uh, uh, sine, sine. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Yep. Sine of 30 degrees equals um, opposite over 25. Opposite equals 25 times sine 30, which is going to be, I think, 12, 25 times sine 30 equals 12.5. Beautiful. Now, how do I calculate the blue one? The blue one. Um, okay, let's see. You have the angle. You have this is opposite adjacent. And you have H O. I mean, no, wait, use cos, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm really rusty on trigonometry. I haven't touched it since. That's I haven't touched right. it. Oh, yeah. Cosine uh, 30 equals A over 25. Um, so then we get. A equals 25 times cosine 30, which is going to be 21.7. Yep. Cool. Does that cool. make sense so far? Yep. 
We got the blue line. Next. We've got this one here. And so we're going to do this one. I'm going to do in uh, purple. And we're going to do uh, orange. So how can I calculate the orange distance? How do I calculate this orange distance here? No, calculate the um, you use you have hypotenuse, opposite sine, right? Yep. And then use cos again. Yep. So sine theta, so we've got sine of 40 degrees, because opposite over 50. 50 times sine 40 gives me opposite, opposite equals 50 times sine 40 is 32.13. 32.1. Okay, now, for the light purple, we're going to do this. We're going to go, you're right, you're going cosine theta. I love being able to have all these colors. Because normally when I teach, I've got yeah. green. But then when I teach here, I've got as many colors as I want. Cosine 40 um, equals adjacent over 50. 50 cosine 40 degrees. A equals 50 times, times cosine 40. Equals 38.38.3. Perfect. Now, here we go. Watch this. This is what I wanted to do. This is what I've been waiting to do. Yeah. But can you see what I'm doing here? Yeah, I can. Yeah. So. Wait, wait, wait. So just give me one second just to process all this. You got it. Uh, okay, that blue line, okay. The blue line and the green line represents that, okay. All right, I got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the same picture, except now all the angles are perpendicular. Wait, but sir. Yeah. With the 21.7 and the 38.3, do you add them? You would. So what would that give you? Oh, uh, that would give you like what, 50? It'd give you like 60. 60 on the dot. Beautiful. So that's going to give us this. Go with um, red. Oh, well, blue and purple. It's going to make like a light blue. Let's go light blue. <laughs> so light blue, that's going to be 60. What's going to happen to the other two, though? Oh, they're going to subtract from each other, and it's going to point to the right, which means it'll equal to 12, 17, 16.5. All right. Cool. 16.5. Oh, wait, no. 19.5 or something. 19.6. I am special. So now we can now, now we can turn that picture into this picture. Yep. Now all we need to do is bring those two things together. Sixty. 19.6, which means we're going to have two things. First, we're going to do the square root of 60 squared plus 19.6. Wait, but sir, you know the yeah. uh, the light blue and red line? Yeah. Wouldn't it just be the same as 50 newtons and 40 degrees? Well. Like, you know, like the very first picture you drew, the, like the question? Yeah. 
the 50 newtons of 40 degrees? Yeah. Wouldn't that be the same as the blue and the red lines? No. No? Because you, the blue and the red lines is both of those vectors added together. Oh, yeah. So you're going further up because both vectors are pulling up. Yeah. So, um, let me just, let's just figure this out first, then we'll come yeah. back together. So we'll go 19.6 squared plus 60 squared square rooted gives us 63.1. And then the angle, which is here, is opposite over adjacent. The angle is going to be inverse tan of opposite 60 over 19.6. So that's 72 degrees. Uh, round it up, but that's fine. Yep. So that means that we can do one more alteration. We can go from this picture down to our final answer, which is this. Sixty-three point one newtons, and that's it. Now to answer your question, one way you could think about it, right, is you could think yep. about this, right? Imagine that you've got um, the way that I, I was taught this as a student, and it's a bit weird. But imagine that you've got two dogs, right? Yeah. And one dog is attached on a leash, like this, and one dog is attached on a leash like this and this dog is bigger than this dog so it pulls harder so the question would be okay what if i was a blind person what would the difference be if i was a blind person i couldn't tell how what would be the equivalent of having these two dogs oh yeah 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 i guess so it. i think about it like this it's like well both dogs are pulling upwards yeah yeah so if you wanted to have two dogs, then it would be the same as having a big dog pulling upwards, yeah? But this dog is going to pull more than this dog, right? It's going to pull it more to the right than this dog is going to pull it to the left. So if you add the two situations together, it would be like having a really big dog pulling up and a little bit to the right. Yeah. And that's what we've done here. We've said, well, both of these are pointing upwards. So that's how we get these two vectors upwards. And they add to this total vector upwards, which goes from instead of pulling it like just a little bit up, you're pulling it a lot up. But these two vectors are pulling in the opposite directions. So this one wins, but it does lose some strength because it has to pull because uh, you've got the left one cancelling it out a little bit. And so that's how we end up with a different angle. Yeah. Instead of it being 40 degrees, because this one pulls it a little bit to the left, it is now 63 degrees. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, oh, my God. If this one was even stronger, right, then yep. it would pull it even more this way. And yeah. so you would end up with something more like um, you'd still have 60 degrees up, but then it might be more like 15 or 10, 10 units to the right. Yeah. And that's why in the example that we did the other day, uh, that we did this morning, where we have one that was like this, one that was like this, it was like they cancelled out. So then it just made it and a force point to the right. Oh, yeah, that's the, oh, yeah. That was what we did in class, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so just let me screenshot this. Just let me screenshot this. So this is like, this is harder than anything that we did in class. Because what we've got is we've got two, ang two vectors that are off, like off axis. They're not, neither of them are on like a 90, they're neither of them are 90 degrees from each other. Yeah. But what makes this really interesting is that, you know, we can still do all the calculations. We're just going to make sure that we break it down 
into horizontal and vertical components. All right. Would there be a way to do it without breaking it down? Um, only if you started to do vector cross products and stuff like that. And that's not within what we can do here. Or you would like to, to go into orthogonal space. And it is possible, I believe, but it, you're talking about second year university stuff. So uh, okay. let's just yeah, yeah, yeah. let's just stick to uh, yeah, because what you would do is you'd say, well, we're going to pretend that we're going to pretend that they are ninety degrees from each other, and now we're going to stretch space so that it's so that we can make a match our picture. I'm like, um, listen, I made it to university nuts, but I didn't make it that far. So that's my extent. So if there's no other questions, then I feel pretty good about how far we got today. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, so I've just got one more question. Yeah. Um, but is this like the kind of question that will be on the exam? Um, not sure. But well, grab a look. So this is question 10. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is question 10 of um, 10.2, right? Yeah. I'm going to give you guys time to work on today. See what we see how this question is very similar to the one that we just did. Yeah. And this question, though, it's a bit weird, though. If you actually look at this question, it says, um, it says, determine the magnitude and direction of the missing force. So none of these, all of these have a net force of zero. So what you need to do is you need to figure out what the for, what the net force is of these two and then say, well, the in order to cancel that out, we have to have a force in the opposite direction. Oh, shit. But that's not yeah. that hard. You've just got to figure out for each of these two, if you figure out the net force, then you just got to say, all right, cool. What do I need to do to change it? For this one, the net force is 200 units to the right. So what do you need to do to change that to make it work? Um, that's that. something that I can help you out with if you need it. But yeah. the first thing you should do with these questions is calculate the net force. Once you've got that, or if you don't know how to do that, break down this force here, this 400, into a horizontal and a vertical. And oh, break yeah. Break down this 200 at 30 degrees into a horizontal and a vertical. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, man. All right. Yeah. Thank thanks, sir. Uh, cool. All right. I'll chat to you later. Yeah. Thanks for helping me out. That's a pleasure. Bye, sir. Right, bye.